Citizens during a drama-filled day on Wednesday at nomination tribunals around the nation, Coalition for Change CCC President Nelson Chamisa has ruled out the possibility that his party could field two candidates. Notwithstanding difficulties CCC had in compiling a final list for the party, access to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission CEC voters list, and harassment in rural regions. Chamisa put on a brave face and assured journalists that everything was well. Aspiring CCC legislators encountered difficulties filing nominations, which some magistrate courts claimed were not properly signed. According to news that was trickling in throughout the day, a chance of running two candidates in Masvingo, Marondra, and Monizi was not completely ruled out as some dissatisfied losing members tried to enter the race. Addressing to reporters after the Harare High Court confirmed his nomination, Chamisa claimed that those mentioned had signed their documents unlawfully and had misrepresented their affiliation with his party to the courts. Since then, Zimbabwe Republic Police has been informed of the incident CRP. We've heard rumors that things got off to a sluggish start and that there were administrative issues. ZEC had issues with several of our signatures, according to what they had been told by headquarters, Chamisa added. We had our team's car seized and our documents sequestered. But we have resolved it. Except for some people in Masvingo who stole some papers yesterday and falsified signatures, we do not have multiple candidates. It is a criminal matter that has been reported to the police and is not a case of multiple candidates. Because there are only two signatories, we do not anticipate any such issues. Former Harare East lawmaker Tendai Peter, who Chamisa claimed would play a significant role both during and after the national elections in August, was present. Speaking about his chances, Chamisa stated that neither President Emerson Umninkogwa nor Returnee Xavier Kasukawe, whose papers had also been successfully filed, had the ability to intimidate him. Umninkogwa is a brave man, I wonder why he would even be willing to run in this election as he has no business being there. Decency must teach him that he should just cede power to the following administration. I only see one party in Kosukawe, Zenu PF. Now that Zenu PF has splintered into numerous factions, we are dealing for the first time with a factionalized Zenu PF, a split Zenu PF, and a divided Zenu PF. We are excited because a split opponent is a weak opponent, therefore it is not a huge deal. The final list of candidates is anticipated to be released by ZEC at a later date that will be announced.